Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome to Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Because today is a very special day. Today is July the 4th, better known as Colony Treachery Day, or I think as you guys call it over in America, Independence Day. A day all about America, and that means I've decided to make the most American video of all time. But I'm gonna be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I personally am not American. So, we're gonna need to have to start off small here. I need to learn the basics. So, I've got myself the basics to be an American here. I've got a tiny American flag. That's not the American flag. You guys don't have a circle of, wait, how many, how many things is that? That is six states and seven horseshoes for a total of 13 states and or horseshoes. Right, so apparently this game is set when there are 13 colonies. That's that's fine. We'll get rid of that. That's not, that's not American enough. Right, this, however, this is American. This is a gun. I don't have much experience with these things, so that's why I decided to bring the target up, like, quite close for a starting point. So, all we need to do is... Let's get a little bit closer here. All we need to do is make sure we hit the target. Make sure we hit the top. Right, there's, there's a bit... Aha! Ammo! Right, okay, hang on, no, no, I can get some ammo. Okay, first gun-related confusion. The ammo comes in two flavours. The ammo comes in big and small. So naturally, screw all of that business, I want my ammo to be big and American. So I just get, get the ammo, and I'll put the ammo into the gun. Okay, now my gun is actually, this feels wrong. Like, it feels wrong that this length of the gun should be, like, longer than this length. Like, if that's going to be the case, I feel like I should be aiming it, like, this way. Because that's, that's the more important bit. And also, this is where all the bullets are. So if I was, like, to hold it, like, like this, that would be, that would be more threatening. So what we need to do now is... You have bullets! What do you want? These are, maybe these are the wrong bullets. Hang on. These are, these are, the, just let me change that. Oh, I threw away the old, no, there's still some there. I may have just got the wrong ammunition, so just put that in and... Right. Okay. On the plus side, I don't have to get the ammo out, which weirdly you don't have to like pull out or anything. You just kind of push a button on the trackpad and it just kind of goes... Wait, no. No, it doesn't. There it does, now I figured it out. Right, okay. Put the ammo into that. I need, I need some instructions for this gun. Apparently this gun has a slide. Okay, so with second hand, grab... Yeah, is that... Okay, how many times did it... Wait, what? This... Is this how you fire guns? Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get shot here. And... Yep, yeah, okay. Getting balls like... And... Yep, yeah, no. No, no. Oh, almost. 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 That was... One of them was totally in. And... How many... There we go! That was it! That was it! Got a bullseye, right. I figured out how pistols work. It's fine. So that just gets rid of, like... Bull how many bullets are there in here? Okay, I finally got rid of all the bullets. So as it turns out, there's quite a lot of bullets. In, like, a single pistol thing here. That's, that's flipping loads. Right, well, we'll get rid of that. Now, we, this is why we wanted to use the advanced pistol. Because this thing's... Okay, so I do I... Ah! I see the pistol right there. So... Right, okay. So now I've done that. Does it now fire a shot? Ah! It's really quite loud. Sorry, I'm wearing headphones with my... my that's quite... <laughs> okay, I'm going to need... I'm gonna need one of those gun quieteners. Thankfully, the game does come with them. Right, so, that's a gun quietener. Is that not- that really is quite big. You know, I always thought Fallout 4 was being a bit kind of OTT with the size of its quieteners, but apparently this is fine. This is probably gonna be better, alright? Just prepare myself just in case it's not. It's still- <laughs> I just shoot that- I think I just shot someone with a silencer. No! Stay- on. Oh, do I need to... Aha! I need to screw it on. Right, how about now? Okay, so... Prepare. Okay! Better. Okay, so, if I want to be fast, what I want to do is... Yeah, fire, and then... Reload, fire, reload, fire, reload, fire, reload, fire. Okay, that is pretty... Oh! Oh, you need to do that once! I don't know why anyone would ever use the stupid baby ammo when there's, like, massive ammo right here. Right! Okay, I think we can do this better, however. I just need to get rid of- hang on, just- just- just wait. If I- if I hold the gun upside down, then- Ooh, it sort of ejects. Right, let's put another one of them in. 
Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna make things a bit harder. Like I'm not gonna have the target like this close to me. Let's let's start off something, you know, manageable. Ten meters. Okay. Now uh ten it's quite aggressive actually, hang on. Um five meters. That that I can wait, there's no ooh. Hang on, this is there we go, I fixed it. This is this is still quite aggressive, especially as I don't have a I need a clean target. Can I, can I clean up the target? Hang on. Well, I can't see how to actually get the bullet holes off that thing, but rather conveniently, I've noticed this thing over on the right. So it can tell me where my most recent shot was. So, okay, let's let's see if I can do this right now. And... Bang! Okay, that was, that was like an eight. That's pretty good. And... Bang, bang, bang! Now... Ah, it only tells you where your one most recent shot is. So, I'm guessing what I'm experiencing there is what is called recoil. So, why do you shoot that bin? Does it move? No, that's a tough bin. Alright, I've mastered baby's first pistol, so it's time for something more advanced. So, this is a Rhino 60. Is it a Rhino 60? It says Rhino DS on the side here. Named because, of course, back in the days of the Old West, America was basically infested with rhinos until those brave cowboys, those boys that rode around on their cows, rhinos being well known for their fear of cows, rode up with their rhino 40s through 60s, depending on what rank of cowboy you were. Ultimately, you capped out at cowboy level 3, which is when you got the rhino 60. Rhino 40 was just for cowboy level 1. And yeah, they took those rhinos out. And now, to this day, because of those brave boys and girls, there is not a single rhino left in the whole of America. Now, this is this is different. Because this, this looks... Oh, this looks really tiny. This looks like baby's first revolver. I mean, I thought this was like a big revolver. Like, it felt like it was. But then... Oh, spins! I guess they do that, yes. Ooh. Or oh, if you just squeeze... Ooh! If you just squeeze a little bit, it just kind of spins a tiny bit. Oh, that's really cool. Right, okay. Need to figure out how, how this works. So, no. No, 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 no. Get, get it back over here. Hang on. So one of the options for this gun is to hold it like this. Which doesn't, doesn't feel helpful, to be honest. But if I just also... Aha! Right, okay. So, that goes over there. Pick up ammo. Put ammo in and... I just drop. I just drop something. Right, and now, oh, it's got physics to it. Uh, I think I need to flick it. Oh, that feels badass. That feels really badass. Now I probably need to do something else at some point. But oh, it's got glow sights. Okay, let's do this badass. And I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it's only five meters. Now, does it keep firing? Also, what's? I swear there was something else I needed to do with this. Hang on. There's, there's, there's. Oh. Right, and he said, oh, that just puts on a, oh, nice, so I can just go, ah, that didn't even hit the target, I probably shouldn't do that, uh. right, I'm going to hold it like this, I'm going to try and do an upside down shot now, okay, upside down, trick shots, bring on the trick shots, and, oh my goodness, as it turns out, I'm a genius at guns, woo, okay, so what, what do the other options do, what's, what does that do, what does that just do? Did I just, did I just skip a, a, a round or something? Right, okay, and go, 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 get, go. Well, I know there's still a round, ooh, smoke. I know there's still a round. Would you believe this thing doesn't come with a silencer? <laughs> if you're using a Rhino 60, it ain't the sort of gun you want to silence. You want people to know. Right, okay, now if I, no, no, get that out. Why are the, why, why are those bits, did those bits still be there? Hang on, there's, yeah, okay. Yeah, because the bullets, the bullets are gone. So now if I want to, hang on, if I want to get, get rid of, get rid of, get out of the gun. Wait, can I just put the next one in? Let's put the, no. Okay. How do I, okay. How do I, right. Well, this gun's one of those single use only things. This was, of course, why the Rhino War took so long. Because every single time you fired six shots, you just needed to like, get rid of the gun. So it was, it was pretty bloody useless. Like, you know, this is why cowboys ultimately went extinct. Sure, they were able to take out rhinos, but when someone else showed up and the other person had a gun that didn't need to be thrown away every time you fired six shots, 
ultimately, just in a war of attrition, the Cowboys were ultimately going to be screwed, which is ultimately what happened, of course, at the Alamo. So I found this rather interesting breach loading style thing. That does sound very, very interesting indeed. The problem is, as far as I can tell, there's no way to actually spawn bullets for it. Each gun you spawn just comes with one bullet. But I have found a solution, which is if I just keep spawning more guns, then as a result of that, I just get more bullets. This doesn't feel like the most efficient way to do things, but here we are, I guess. Right, so here we go. Pistol. Very old style pistol. I don't think this one... No, this one doesn't come with actual instructions, so I've, I've no idea what we're doing here. So, we're just gonna have to figure this one out. I mean, if I had to guess, we're just gonna, like, put a... Put... This feels like a big bullet. That feels like a really big bullet to... Right, okay. I need to... No. No, the... Oh, hang on. I must put it in... Do I put it in the top? Ooh! A do! Right, okay. Now, crack that... Crack that open. Right. Does that... Okay, what's this bit for, then? What's that for if that... Ooh, okay. Now there's... Oh, where'd the... Where'd the bullet go? There's... Oh, there's the bullet. Okay. So, 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 so. Right. Bullet goes in. Right. Now I need to... To close that... That up. Some... Somehow. There we go. Right, so that, that's closed. That's, that's also closed. And here we are. Moment of history for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, pretty much the exact make and model of pistol that George Washington used in his duel with Alexander Hamilton, a fight that would, of course, go on to settle the American War of Civil Independence. So if we just line this up, it's pretty hard to line up. There's no, well, there's, there's a bit of a sight on it. There's a bit of a sight on it. So now I take aim. Like Stephen Burr once did, and okay, wait. What's the, what's the pistol? The pistol didn't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a lot louder than some of the others. Okay, so apparently pistols in like the 18th century had a safety, which I guess is good actually. Yes, that's I admire that. Right, why do how do we get the, the 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 oh? Okay, there's, there's, the, there's the bullet. Right, and now we have to load a new bullet in. Now what we have to do is that needs to go up to there. Okay, now, line up again. Hey! Ooh! Wow, that thing is quite powerful, but ludicrously inaccurate. That's probably a reason why Alexander Bird didn't survive that duel. But you know what? This is America Day. We don't need pistols. Pistols are too small for America Day. What I need is some form of giant overcompensation machine. And oh yeah, yeah, this will do the job nicely. So this is a shotgun invented in the mid-19th century by Terence Tipperton of Ohio, of course. He didn't actually know what to call it. He was really, really not sure. Then some cattle rustlers came to his sheep ranch and tried to steal his sheep. So he shot them with his new invention. And one of them cried, Oh God, you shot me with your gun! That really hurt! He said, Oh, can you say that again? Said, yeah, you shot me with your gun! No, can you just miss out the middle bit? Shot me gun! No, 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 no more, more, miss out more. Shotgun! Shotgun! That's pretty good, I like that. And thus the name was born. Now, can I do the, hang on. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, these are two-handed. Right, this is a two-handed weapon. But I haven't put anything in it yet. So, um, right, okay. I need to I need to figure out how to, to put ammo into the shotgun. Okay, so it's got angry red mode and not angry red mode. I mean, I feel like I need to get... Aha! This is... Oh! No, okay. I had it for a second. Right, okay. Now, let that let that go. Right. In you go. Now, presumably, what I need to do is now... Cha-chink! Oh, this is going to make a hell of a bang. Now, I'm assuming angry red mode is... Wait, okay. Ah, how do you aim these things? Because, like, I'd like to aim it like this, but I feel like that's a catastrophically bad idea, because, you know, the kickback will probably take off your face. Oh, so what's drawn on the side of it? Is that like a little fish? A fish jumping out of the water. There's like a fleur-de-lis on the, on the waves. Is it like a French fish? Flying fish from France? Possibly it is. Right, oh, so I'm guessing you have to hold it more like, yeah, like if I'm here, you have to hold it like this, and like, you know, have it like... Where would you safely put it? Like, I wouldn't really want to have it, like, under my elbow. There, because I feel like once again I'd just be knocked off my feet. Like I feel like I'd want to hold it like out here, but that'd be ugh. Don't freak out on me. Uh, right, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it like this, like it's got my elbow on it. Okay, and this is gonna be hard to. How would you aim this? Like, this is a nightmare. I wish I'd gone back to the pistol. Fight. Okay, prepare, prepare. Okay, line, line up as best I can. All right, and three, two. Oh, this is gonna be really loud. Whoa! That was nowhere near as loud as I was expecting. The bloody civil war. Oh. 
Oh, ho, okay, but that's nice to do. Yeah, I see why people do these. Also, how many, how many, woo! How many shots is that? That's loads of shots. Okay, so, right, I see. You don't, ah, wait, I get it. Hang on, hang on, let's just get this, like, right back here. The thing about a shotgun is, sure you can't aim it, because if you tried to aim it, you'd take your own face off, but it kind of doesn't matter. Because, because, oh, hang on, have I not got it in red mode? Red mode, yep, it's in angry mode now. Okay, because it doesn't actually matter, because you just kind of hit them anyway. <laughs> because basically anything in that vague direction, oh, there we go, I did the thing. Just because anything in that vague direction just sort of dies. See, the only problem with this is it's quite hard work. So I've got this thing, which is apparently the best of both worlds. You get a shotgun and it's badass, but it works like a pistol. So presumably do I need to, is there anything else I need to do? Hang on, prepare for a bang. There's something else I need to do. Probably need to, ooh. Right, okay, now it's pumped. And also I've got myself, yeah, it's quite, it's quite small. I mean, it feels, it feels inadequate. I'd like it to be more of a massive overcompensation machine. Like, I feel like, hang on, this bit of the shotgun doesn't do anything aside from being overcompensation. Like, next to each other, and this bit's points as well. Yeah, this thing's great, but we just need to add more handle and way more length to it. It'll be perfect. Right, grab this. I think I've lined it up correctly. So now, can this thing basically fire like an automatic? No. No. Right, how does this thing... Wait. Why does this thing have one of these? I don't see why this thing's got one of... Oh. Oh, I feel like that's a mistake. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't... Why isn't it firing? Why isn't it... Has it got one of those bloody red lights that needs to be on? Ah! What did you do at that time? Are you firing now? Wait. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Need to... There we go. And... There we go. There we go. There we go. I don't know what I've done, but it's fixed it. Yeah, this is much better. It's like some sort of pistol shotgun hybrid with the best of both worlds. Aside from the fact it needs to, hang on, just, 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 just no, release that. Get, 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 get the ammo out. Get the, drop the ammo. It's done. I need more ammo. Boo. Why won't you, piece of junk. Right, need something better. Okay, our quest for the perfect gun continues uh, as we get to the... P90. So, fun story behind this one, of course. Uh, the original gun behind this was uh, the RCP90, which was made for Goldeneye. And then a consortium of gun makers from South Korea and America were just playing Goldeneye one day and thought, that's really awesome. Why isn't this real? Wait a minute. We're gun manufacturers! And they made the P90. They couldn't call it the RCP90, obviously, because, you know, there would have been copyright issues with, uh, with Rare and Nintendo. So, they had to just call it the P90. But still... Turned out to be pretty good. Weird thing, actually. Ultimately, it had to be made in Belgium. Because it turned out they couldn't actually make this out of, like, metal or anything. The perfect material was waffles. So it's actually made out of waffles, hence why it's made in Belgium. But, uh, yeah, people didn't actually like using a uh, waffled coloured gun. So the waffles needed to be covered by a millimetre thin coating of metal that was then painted black. Just because people found the gun emasculating otherwise. Which, you know, was a bit odd because, you know, waffles are awesome. So, this thing is the best of all three worlds. So, we've got ourselves the... Excuse me, you come with me. We've got ourselves... Where the heck does this go? What? I think this is the ammo for it. Just to the cock does it go? Just... Do, do you go in that? You can't possibly go in there. Hang on, I need to... Right. That's... Okay. That's turning it from auto, S, and one mode. I'm guessing A is auto. Right. How do I... How do I get you... How does this... Wait, what? How did... Right, this... This is why this was this gun was a mistake. I mean, just looking at it right now, it feels like, yeah, there's, there's a round bit there. Does this go in... Does this go in here? And if so, okay, hang on, do I have to slide it in first? Hang on, just, just slide it in. Aha! Okay, I figured it out. Round peg goes in round hole. Guns. Simple. So... Next up, I need to pick a a fire mode. So, I'm guessing auto 1 or S. Now, do I need to do anything else, by the way, or is this thing rich? Oh, hang on, no, no, I've got something else here. So, best of, best of both worlds here. Is that actually, that seems pretty attached. So, best of both worlds can I actually aim through. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, how does this, how does this thing work? That's, 
I put it on backwards. I don't know how to take it off now. I put the scarf. <laughs> I don't know how to take it off. This was the mistake. I made a mistake. Oh no. Also, it's still not firing. Okay. Um, what do the buttons do? So that that button goes into okay S mode. Okay. Um, that. Okay, hang on. Do I need to hold this? Oh, wait. What? Aha. Uh -huh. That seems good. Right, okay. I've done a thing that's made you go clickety click. Right, so prepare and. Oh! That was really awesome, aside from the fact I couldn't tame. Right, so, yeah. This here, this is the best of the bunch so far, aside from some slight. <laughs> aside from some slight problems. <laughs> some slight issues. <laughs> during a simple. <laughs> So I want to take the gun. <laughs> okay. It was still good. That was still good. So, what we've got now is, okay, we're figuring out how to make the perfect gun here. Which is, one, it needs a magazine so you don't to be faffing around with, like, inserting stuff into it one by one. Two, it needs to basically have such a ridiculous scattergun effect, it doesn't matter if you can't aim. And... Three, it's going to need a lot of ammo in it because that ran dry really fast. But we're coming up with a recipe here. A recipe for the perfect American weapon. It's taken me a while, ladies and gentlemen, but I think I figured it out. The right gun. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just tick them off right here. So, we've got the ability for it to be loaded like like a pistol. No, no don't, don't you go anywhere. Get, get in there. Get in there. Get... Get, get in the, no, it's other way around, other way around, other way around. There we go. Loaded just like a pistol. Smooth. Okay. Fires fast and all over the shop enough that it doesn't actually flipping matter whether you can aim or not. Has loads of bullets in it. And uh, you know what? I just feel good. I just feel good actually uh, taking care of this thing. So, ooh, it's controlled by a joystick. Is that how mini guns are controlled? Wait, hang on, is this... Which round supposed to be? Like, it feels like it should be this way around, but the game's saying that's... I'm gonna have it this way around. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks... I think that's more badass, actually. That's more badass. So, yeah, I don't need to bother aiming. <laughs> Screw it. One of the bullets will kill him. So, three... Oh, oh, it starts whirring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to see. That's what I need to see. And... Woo! What happened? Let's... You were supposed to be the ultimate weapon of war! Ah, wait, I think I need to hold it with two hands. Yeah, I, I can see why you might need to hold this with two hands. Yes, yes, I, I can see why that will be the case. However, I'm, I'm concerned that I can't... I can't... Hang on. If it's supposed to be like this... But if I hold it like this, then... Ah! I've got an idea, because I need to aim it. There we go. I've got a reflex sight. So, my, my plan is... Hang on, let's get, get back in my hand. My plan is... I need to hold this thing with two hands to stop it exploding, but I need to actually be able to see what I'm actually aiming at. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's fine. I can just vaguely, I can, I can figure in the air and it's fine. So, just get that under my arm, right here. And now, time to liberate us from the filthy English. Ah! <laughs> You lowly bastards! Take that! Take that in your taxes and your tea! Take this shooting range! Take that machine over there! Take that! That's, I don't know what I'm shooting at right now! I think it's... That's, take that ground! Take that, you stupid bastards! Die! Oh, sorry, it's a bit of a flip at the end there. in every war. I like how it's just smoking there as well, by the way. I, I don't even smoke, but I kind of feel like now would be an appropriate point for a post-coital cigarette. But the big question for me, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, are any of these guns truly big enough for America Day? Is this gun America? This gun isn't America. Pfft, nowhere near enough. Which is why I've come out here 
to wrap up in uh, in rural Arizona. The only place I could find with a sufficient lack of police that I could get away with a big enough illegal weapon that it actually, for me, feels like it does justice for America Day. And that's this girl over here, United States property. Yeah, you see, no gun has got United States written on it in bigger... Blimey, Hank, it's quite large. Right, so, I know how to do this, so just get the, 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 no, other way around, other way around, other way around, the red bits towards the front, that's connected to the hip bone. Right, it's also got, what's with this bit for? Is this, I don't know what this is for. Is this like for stabbing oxen if they're charging you or something? So this, this I feel is a big enough gun. I think I need to actually, to, to grab it and actually get the, ah, it's got a handle on the side for just that. There we go, right, so. Got a pretty big gun there, that's a pretty big gun. So I'm just going to line it up at that there watermelon. And I think I got the watermelon. And, and quite a bit else too. Yes, yeah, so this here, this is right. This is the America gun, I'd say. But no, 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 we're not done with that because there's something else here. We've got 4th of July fireworks as well. And that means there's only one way we could possibly end things off, ladies and gentlemen, which is, obviously, we'll be setting off fireworks and I will be singing the American National Anthem. I, I don't actually know the words, but um, I, I think I know the tune mostly, so I'm sure we can, we can figure this out. So just pop that down and prepare ourselves. And... Oh, there we go. Oh, say, can't you see? The U.S. of A, it's a country between Canada and Mexico, something something cornfield, Independence Day. And down the last firework go. And indeed, ladies and gentlemen, as Independence Day comes to a close, I think this doesn't leave trails in the air, I'm disappointed. I think we should leave things off there. This has been Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, Hand Grenades, probably Handguns. I think I just got the title wrong there. There's, there's a few things dotted in. This has been our Independence Day special. I, that lasted not as long as I was hoping for, to be honest. I hope you feel like you've learnt something about America. Maybe you've learnt something about guns. Any of those things would be great. Hope you're all having a lovely 4th of July. Wait, it's 4th of July. Yes, I have got the right day. For a minute, I was worried I got the wrong day. 4th of July. That is the one with the fireworks, right? This is the day you do the fireworks thing. I really flippin' hope so. So, that's whatever the name of this game is. I think I've just got it wrong. It's a VR game. There's a lot here, by the way. There's a lot of flipping modes and stuff. It's definitely one of the biggest, most interesting, varied shooters going, actually, on the Vive. So, yeah, probably well worth a look if you are in any way interested in guns and VR. But, yes, hopefully you all have a lovely 4th of July and a safe 4th of July. And, public service announcement, make sure you give your pets extra hugs, all right? Take care of your pets if there's lots of fireworks going off, all right? That's the PSA done. Other than that, have fun, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows, maybe I'll do something for the 4th of July next year. But in the meantime... I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been hot dogs, horseshoes, hand grenades, handguns, probably some other stuff beginning with H that blow stuff up. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yeah. No. Okay, that would have been good if I'd actually hit the ball. And swing. Yes. 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 That is the swing. That is the swing. Come on, go you. Oh yes. Oh 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 oh. oh. <sighs> I'll get you next time, golf.